Hello everyone, this is David Kalish from Cloud Checker. This is a quick video overview of the Cloud Checker platform and the computer interface. All right, so I'm gonna jump straight into the solution itself. Uh, Cloud Checker is a powerful tool. It gives you the capability to uh, monitor and check your security stance in the public cloud also help you take a look at your uh, cost and savings information. Also make sure that you are in compliance with 35 regulatory frameworks. And we got some automation capabilities uh, built in as well. So let me go back a page. Uh, this is the accounts page. This is where you can take a look at your AWS, Azure, or GCP solutions. Uh, AWS and Azure are full featured. Uh, Google Cloud Platform is currently being built out. Um, that will be available full featured uh, relatively soon. So for AWS, you can easily see all of the different accounts that you have, the main payer accounts and payee accounts. Uh, same thing for Azure, full support for all types of accounts and subscriptions, uh, the EA, the cloud solution provider, regular subscription accounts, uh, even Active Directory accounts. When you jump into the platform itself, you are presented with the main best practices. You can see a single account or logical groupings of accounts together uh, at your convenience, whatever works for you. We even pull in the AWS Trusted Advisor tool, so you can see that information as well. Uh, let me show you some of the security features very quickly, and that will give you an understanding of some of the capabilities of the Cloud Checker toolset. You'll see that we color code all of our proprietary uh, best practice recommendations, and our tool has hundreds of these across the board, depending on what we're talking about. Uh, this one right here is a check that is looking for an AWS service, SQS queues. It's identified three problems with those queues, and that problem is permission set to everyone. If you want more details, you click on that. It would show the actual three offenders and give you some options for resolution. You can click on the read more, read less. This tells you exactly what Cloud Checker is checking. Uh, why we are checking this, why this is important, and then the category and importance. And you as an end user can change these at your convenience. Now for each of these three offenders, you get to decide what to do here. So let's say the top two, these are set exactly correctly in your environment, you just want to ignore them. You just hit ignore on the list on the far right hand side. But the bottom one, let's say you want to resolve this. Uh, to resolve this, you can go back into the AWS environment, uh, find that queue, figure out the permissions, and decide what to do. Or Cloud Checker can help you revoke that permission right here through the request fix automation capabilities. And you can create workflows around this, have one level of administrator request fix, and then you can have a second level, higher level of administrator actually implement the fix. We are very transparent and tell you exactly what you would need, uh, what level of permissions you would need in order to resolve this, right? Read only versus read write would give you the capability here. And then we're actually going to perform this um, function and this is a permission revoke. So that higher level admin can either decide, no, I don't wanna fix this. Yes, I wanna fix this one time or yes, let's always fix this. And that would memorize the setting. And then in the future, if you have uh, another admin, they make a mistake, they accidentally set that queue back to permission set to everyone, Cloud Checker would know that's not what you want. It would automatically go ahead and revoke that permission for you, log it, and you don't have to worry about it again. In addition, you have capabilities to ignore an entire check. Uh, you can download and export uh, all of these different checks depending on how you see fit. Uh, and of course, you can set up notifications and alerts for all of these items. So for example, you can set up an email to send it when you uh, only see new issues, or you can send it to a, a popular integration. Think ServiceNow, uh, Jira, SNS, PagerDuty, Syslog, Slack. There are a lot of options uh, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. 
There are quite a few other highlights of the security module. You have lots of options here. You can set up deep alerts. Uh, the alerts can even call a Lambda function to resolve whatever the problem is. So for example, instead of setting up a, uh, an alert to send an email to an engineer telling them that CloudTrail has been disabled, you can create a Lambda function to turn CloudTrail back on anytime Cloud Cloud Checker sees that it has been disabled. We have lots of options for monitoring, uh, and we have lots of options for secure configuration, check to make sure, make sure that things are encrypted correctly, or run reports on your security groups. Second major module to showcase is our compliance feature. Uh, the compliance feature will take a look at 35 regulatory frameworks and let you know if you are in compliance. Um, hopefully you look a little bit better than my demo environment, uh, but let's say your organization is being audited by PCI. Uh, you want to make sure that you're in compliance. So you hit PCI. You can see all of the underlying controls as they are related to public cloud infrastructure. Uh, we wouldn't check for certain things like if you lock your doors at night. Uh, let's say that you want to make sure that you are in compliance with control 1.3. You pop that open, and now you will see the underlying best practice checks from the previous page. Uh, green is good. That means it's resolved in your environment. The other two are not. Once these are resolved in your environment, then everything would turn green. Once everything is green, you get full credit from your answer. It would go from no to yes, and your compliance would increase. One of the greatest features about Cloud Checker here is our snap back feature. The snap back feature allows you to go back in time and rerun this report for any data up to seven years, as long as you are a Cloud Checker customer. Uh, this is a big deal because many of our competitors only do this in a matter of weeks. The third major section here is our cost and our savings capabilities. Uh, this is a very big deal for many of our customers. They want to take a look at their environment, find out different ways that they can help save money. Now, this is heavily related to our cost section under our best practices. This is where you would set the parameters for certain things. For example, we're going to check for items that we consider idle. Um, however, you get to configure what idle means in your environment. Once that information is uh, digested, we'll get that report right here on our main cost savings page. The cost savings page will show a total possible amount of monthly savings. This number is very consistently about uh, 15 to 30 percent uh, in the environment, regardless of the size of the customer. How do we do this? We'll check for certain things like idle resources. We'll take a look at certain Dynamo databases or RDS or EC2 instances and give you recommendations for sizing them differently. For unused resources, this is actually my favorite section. Uh, these are your orphans. These are things that you have forgotten about in your environment. So you can see for items including uh, um, unused elastic load balancers or IP addresses, or my favorite is the elastic block store volumes. Uh, we actually had a prospect uh, a few, few months ago who had a very large test environment, and they thought they had torn everything down. But when they ran this report, they found out that they had torn down the EC2 instances, the virtual machines, but they had forgot about the attached storage, the elastic block store, to the tune of $50,000 per month. Right? And as soon as they ran this report, they knew exactly what had gone on, uh, and this report was easily able to save them $50,000 in one day. The other items that we see here are recommendations for reserved instances. Uh, Cloud Checker can help you get, get some recommendations for that. Um, we also will help you, can help you run reports for the brand new savings plans, uh, and we anticipate having a full uh, recommendations engine uh, for that very shortly. So let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, one of the powerful tools with Cloud Checker is the capability to do the deep right sizing reports, and we've been doing this for years. 
So what we do here is take a look at your EC2 instances. We can show you what they are currently sized at. We will run memory uh, uh, metrics analysis on these, uh, including the possibility for doing plugins for memory, uh, either direct from AWS or through a primary um, partner like Datadog. Then we will create our own proprietary utilization score based on our analysis. Let me show you one. So right here, this machine is a T2 large, but based on its metrics, it's not being very heavily utilized. So Cloud Checker would recommend sizing this machine all the way down from a T2 large to a T2 nano. That's a big jump, right? That goes from nine cents per hour to one cent per hour on demand. That's a big deal. So Cloud Checker can help you actually resolve this right from here within the tool set if you so choose. Uh, but most customers utilize this as uh, food for thought, right? They want to take a look, a deeper look into these instances, find out exactly what they're doing, and then determine whether or not this would be a good decision. Uh, and then they'll make the changes on their own. But the really important part here is that this would be your first step for making a uh, reserved instance uh, reservation. So, for example, if a customer were to purchase a reserved instance for this particular machine uh, before they actually um, uh, do the right sizing report, they would probably purchase this machine at a T2 large level, read way too expensive. So if you're doing that over a three-year period, you're losing a lot of money. So with Cloud Checker, we help you save money twice. We help you save money when you resize the machine for the regular on-demand rate. And then you can use this information to purchase uh, a reserved instance, um, either on your own or through a provider. And then you can do that and save money twice. And of course, this is the page where we give you the recommendations for reserved instances. We give you summary information about how much money you can save in total. And then we give you specific information for each individual instance, including the capability to determine how long it's going to take to break even, a fairly unique analysis. The last thing I wanted to show you is our powerful reporting tool. This is our custom report that we call the Advanced Grouping Report. This gives you the capability to take a look at um, your, cloud, your, your cloud environment and run cost-related analysis on these that's otherwise difficult or impossible to run uh, in the native cloud tools. So what we're doing here is uh, let's say you have a brand new project and you've identified that project with a new tag. So let's say it's this one, the 4430 database project. And you have a finance person that's saying, okay, how much does this database project cost over the last month? But I'm also critically interested in a subset of data, uh, the operation called create database instances. How much does that cost? So we can get that information for them relatively quickly. Uh, you can ask for items to group by on the left. I'm asking for account, region, service, and operation. I choose my options and parameters in the center. I choose my filters and tags, and then I can filter by different AWS traditional services. Then it will kick out the pretty charts and graphs that the executive teams like to help you showcase your uh, changes over time. But a lot of people are specifically looking at the uh, details. So that finance person wants to know the total cost of the project. Total cost of the project is exactly $145.98. But the operation called Create Database Instance, that information uh, for RDS, for Northern Virginia, for this demo account, that is exactly $61.82. And then, of course, you can take this information, you can export it. You even have the capability to automate this report. So let's say you wanted to send this information to a colleague. Uh, you can automate this, send it every week, include the CSV information, never have to worry about this again. They don't even have to be a Cloud Checker user. In addition, speaking of tags, Cloud Checker has the capability to tag certain items that you cannot currently tag in AWS. 
uh, certain kinesis, certain data transfer rates. And then, of course, we have the capability to combine certain tags or fix tagging errors. It really makes the capability of this report much more powerful. Then you can use this report once it's saved, like a save filter, to create up um, budgets and alarms. So for example, let's say that finance person wants to set up an alarm based on this subset of data. We can set up an alarm so that they are notified whenever you reach certain cost thresholds, 50% uh, of a specific budget or 75% or 90%. So hopefully that gives you a quick understanding of some of the high level features of Cloud Checker. Uh, if you have deeper questions, please don't hesitate to ask. My name is David Kalish, and I am a sales engineer, and I can help you out. Thank you.